We just had possibly one of the biggest announcements of the 2021 season that has just been released currently here right now. Bubba Walsh is going to be driving for Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan's team. You heard that right. Denny Hamlin is going to be forming a Cup Series team with Michael Jordan. He has purchased the charter from Jermaine Racing, and Bubba Walsh is going to be the driver for this organization. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. As you just heard there, this is huge, 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 huge news. I am super excited right now about this news. And today's big news day continues as we had the news of Ross Chastain going to the 42. We had the news of Coda coming to NASCAR. And now this big news of possibly the biggest silly season bomb of the year so far has completely dropped. And this is really, really exciting. I'm, I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. This has been for the last couple weeks that this is a very big possibility that Bubba Walls could be driving for a team made by Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan. Now, I'm going to read you the statement that Denny Hamlin released right now, and then I'll talk about this a little bit more. So here's a statement Denny Hamlin said. 11 years ago, I met Michael Jordan at a then Charlotte Bobcats game, and we became fast friends. Not long after, I joined Jordan Brand as their first NASCAR athlete. Our friendship has grown over the years, and now we are ready to take it to the next level. Tonight, I'm excited to announce that MJ and I are starting a new single-car NASCAR Cup Series team for 2021. Deciding on a driver was easy. It had to be Bubba Walls. Bubba has shown a tremendous improvement since joining the, the Cup Series, and we believe he's ready to take his career to a higher level. He deserves the opportunity to compete for race wins, and our team will make sure that he has the resources to just do just that. Off the track, Bubba has been a loud voice for change in our sport and our country. MJ and I support him fully in those efforts and stand behind him. More details about the team will be released at a later date, but for now, I remain focused on winning a championship for my number 11 FedEx Toyota Joe Gibbs Racing Team this season and in the years ahead. That is huge. Now, as he just mentioned there, there are going to be a lot more details released. So here's probably some of the details that are probably going to be announced. The car. I think the number is going to easily be number 23. It's probably going to remain for number 13 to number 23 since that is Michael Jordan's number. And that's been the rumored number of the number 23. And he'll also be bringing all those sponsorships along with the Jordan brand probably sponsoring him. He'll probably have Beats by Dre sponsoring on the car. Cash App sponsoring him. DoorDash. All the sponsors Bubba Wall Springs. That's going to be really good. I'm also expecting that Bubba Walsh will have uh, enhanced support from Toyota and help from Joe Gibbs Racing as this will become the second Toyota team. Now, we'll talk about Gobbler's Race, talk about the drivers and might end up going over that organization here just a little bit. But I am really, really excited for Bubba Walsh because he's going to have, for the first time, championship caliber Cars. I mean, he's going to have a chance to win a championship and go off for wins for the first time in his career. No offense to Richard Penny Motorsports. Richard Penny Motorsports was not a good team, though. And they're like a 20th place caliber team. You know, they're not a great organization. I can't believe, I'm just, I'm so excited right now. I'm, I'm excited for Bubba. This is, this is incredible news for Bubba Wallace. And I'm very excited to see what he's going to do. I mean, the fact that he's teaming up with the possibly the greatest NBA player of all time, no doubt, Michael Jordan. This is very excellent. I think that this is probably the biggest news of this year up to this point. And this is where all the silly season bombs are going to stop dropping because this is not a two-car team. This is a one-car team. This, there was rumors that this team could become a two-car team. What are my expectations for Bubble Walls? I think Bubble Walls is going to be a championship contender. I think he will go out there, have a shot to win a championship with Denny Hamill being the owner of this team. I don't know if he'll have, I don't think he's going to have to leave Joe Gibbs Race. He'll still be competing with them. I don't know if he's going to be majority owner. I'm not sure if that's the case. Probably be him and him and uh, Michael Jordan probably be like together in the majority owner stake. I don't know, but man, Bo Walsh going to drive for the Jordan brand and drive for that. That is so excellent. I'm so excited for this. You know, this, I'm just really excited for what Bubba Walsh is going to do with the team. I'm really happy for him. I've been very excited to hear what's going to go on with Bubba Walsh. And I'm really glad we just found out where Bubba Walsh is going because we thought he may be going to Chip Ganassi. That kind of went out the window. Now, let's talk about silly season a little bit more because there is a lot to go over now in the silly season side. With the big news of Bubba Walsh not going to be driving for any other organization, I think a lot of silly season moves are going to start taking place here very soon. Let's first talk about Eric Jones. There is We don't know where Eric Jones is going to be going next year. I feel like he'll probably end up in the 96 car now for the Gone Brothers Racing Organization. Unfortunately, since that is a Toyota brand, he's been partnered up with Toyota. 
I really don't know because there's only other places to go and he's not being linked as much to the 48 car as he was. He might go to 37 car. I really don't know. I think you're also going to very soon here find out what's going to happen with Kyle Larson and Hendrick Motorsports. There's been rumors circulating that Kyle Larson could be driving for Hendrick Motorsports next year. There is that big possibility, but we'll have to see if they can't get Kyle Larson back in the Cup Series drive the 40 or the 88 decided to put Alex on the 48 and Kyle Larson 88. We'll see what happens with Kyle Larson, but if Kyle Larson can't get on the team, their fallback guy is probably going to be Eric Jones, and that's going to be the case. Also, Ty Dillon, since Jermaine Racing is not going to be returning next year in NASCAR at all, I don't. what happens with Ty Dillon? Well, in all honesty, I think Ty Dillon's probably going to end up at a third RCR car. Now, they did not acquire the charter since Hamlin is going to get the charter for Denny Hamlin Racing, so he's probably going to get a third charter, probably from like Rick Ware Racing, he's probably going to, or Petty, whatever company to decide, or he'll go to Petty. Uh, Motorsports, because that is a uh, Chevy, a Richard Childress Racing affiliated organization. I just, this is, this is big news. And then all this other silly season stuff. This is one of the next big bombshells that has dropped. And silly season still has a lot of questions and answers that still need to be answered. But the biggest one and where all the dominoes are going to start falling, two of the big dominoes, by the way, have fallen today. And I think that over the rest of this week, you're going to see a lot of the other major announcements that are going to take place. And we'll also very soon get more news on what is going on with this Denny Hamlin racing team. I am so excited for De for uh, Bubba Walls. He's headed to Toyota. He's headed back to kind of where he started his career, you know, because he drove for Joe Gibbs Racing back at the beginning of his career. You know, he was really competitive in the KBM stable, which was affiliated with Joe Gibbs Racing. And a lot of us saw in 2015, there was a good chance he was going to go up to with Joe Gibbs Racing to drive the 18 Xfinity Series car. Then Daniel Suarez went there. And I don't even know where Daniel Suarez is going next year, to be honest with you. I am so excited for Bubba Walls. I know people said that he and Denny Hamlin had beef after 2018 days, 1 to 500, and they weren't happy with each other. But I think that this is a very exciting day for Bubba Walls, and I think Bubba Walls should be really happy. He's going to have all the sponsors brought over to him, and I'm really excited to see what is going to happen with Bubba Walls and Denny Hamlin and Michael Jordan. I'm really excited for this, and I think y'all should be excited too. So, anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel, turn on so you can be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Link description below for that. And comment your thoughts on today's video. How do you feel about Bubba Walls headed over to, to Denny Hamlin's team with Michael Jordan? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about Michael Jordan being part of NASCAR now for the first time as an owner? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I will see you guys next time, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. It really helps me get more recommended YouTube, and it'll help me more grow here on YouTube. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.